Uh, my name is Greg Edelman. I'm the Director of Undergraduate Admission here at Carnegie Mellon University. Uh, Carnegie Mellon is a small to medium sized um, research university based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. What's unique about Carnegie Mellon is that students have to apply to individual colleges. They don't apply to the university as a whole. So the acceptance rate can vary from one program to the next. Uh, we average, though, around about a 20 to 25 percent acceptance rate. So the comprehensive cost of the university is around $70,000. Uh, that, mm -hmm, that is tuition, room and board, books and supplies, but that also includes personal and miscellaneous expenses. Uh, Carnegie Mellon does not award financial aid to international students, only to U.S. citizens and permanent residents. So international students would have to pay the full fee. So uh, internationally, we are right around 18 to 20 percent of our freshman class will be international. Uh, China is the most popular uh, country for us internationally, but right now of the hopefully 1,500 freshmen that we'll bring in, we'll have roughly 150 students from, from China. Uh, I'd say a lot of it has just been kind of, uh, it's been an organic uh, growth. Uh, last year, the, the Dean of Admission and myself, we traveled to China, so we went to Beijing and Shanghai, uh, but then we also went to Hong Kong and Taiwan as well, and this year we're going to head back to, to Shanghai. So we are actively recruiting in China. So we're very active in uh, social media. Uh, we're very active on um, is it WeChat. Uh, so we're, we have, I think right now we have close to 2,000 followers on WeChat, and we just launched that maybe about six weeks ago. So we're trying to go to where the students are as opposed to uh, making them come to us. You know, again, we, we value individual students and how individually they can add to the greater campus community. Uh, so we're not necessarily looking for any one thing. We're looking, we really do take time when we're evaluating applications to read the essays, read the recommendations, and really get a sense of exactly who that person is and how we can benefit from having that person on our campus. We want to know who the student is. You know, we, we know we're a good school, so we don't necessarily want to hear the student writing an essay about us. We want to hear about uh, why. So of all the different schools and all the different uh, higher institutions out there, what do they think that they're going to be able to take from Carnegie Mellon and at the same time give back to us? There's two essays. So the one essay is it's through the common application. It's more or less a topic of their choice. There are a few different prompts that they can pick from and they're set through the common application. Then we have a writing supplement at Carnegie Mellon that is essentially why do you want to study what it is you want to study. Uh, so for, that, for the second one, that's the one that we really want them to focus on, not engineering, but specifically why engineering at, at Carnegie Mellon. Okay, we're not English teachers, so we're not necessarily evaluating sentence structure or the ability to write so much as we want to hear the story. You know, why, there's 4,000 plus colleges in the, in the United States, why Carnegie Mellon, why do you want to be here? Um, we really put a lot of weight into that to, to gauge the interest and to just kind of gauge, again, how are they going to impact the other students around. favorite essay was about a student one time that was playing video games with a friend of his and they decided that they wanted to try something more adventurous so uh, the student who was writing the essay went outside and he put a golf ball in his mouth and he wanted his friend to try and hit the golf ball out of his mouth and uh, it didn't go well uh, and it, uh, this, the essay is about how he had to go to the emergency room and, and just the journey about what happened after his friend hit him in the nose with a golf ball. It was, it was well written but we got a really good sense of that student's personality. You know, we got a sense that this is a student that got got so bored that he was willing to let outside, go outside and let his friend try and hit a golf ball out of his mouth. And then we started thinking, you know, imagine if this young man was surrounded by 10,000 students and, and had the opportunity to join over 200 plus clubs and organizations. We knew that this guy would be a you know, a, a real dynamic student on campus. Now, that's not to say that everybody should go out and let their friend try to hit him in the nose with a golf club, but, uh, you know, we, we, that's what we're looking for. We saw his personality. It 
it's exciting. Carnegie Mellon is very much a place that has high aspirations and high expectations. Well, Carnegie Mellon, is, it's not a lecture-based university. I mean, this is a university that is very much focused on collaboration and communication. So we just want to make sure that students are able to communicate at a high level to make sure that they get the full experience of the Carnegie Mellon education. We have students here that are very, very passionate about computer science, but literally the building that's connected to the School of Computer Science is our drama building. So we have students here that are just as passionate about drama. We have students here that are studying creative writing, and they're super passionate about creative writing. And on the surface, it might not seem like that those disciplines overlap, but then you start thinking about video game design. And it's going to take a computer science major to, to program the video game but it's gonna take a drama student that's gonna make the motions look real. It's gonna take the creative writing student that comes up with the script, the music student that adds the soundtrack. And I think what's so neat about Carnegie Mellon is this isn't, one, this isn't a place where one person can do all those things, but this is a place that's gonna to pull together the collective strengths of the university and provide opportunities for innovation and collaboration in a really, really natural way.